Hi guys, Captain Tiger Lily here. I am hitting keys on my keyboard that I do not need to be hitting. We're back with control today and we're going to investigate that thing in the background. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to jump into that in a minute. But before we do, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos from me. And hit the notification bell that way you guys know when new videos go live. And don't forget to share the video around to anybody you think might enjoy watching me play through the Foundation DLC for Control. I am pretty much just completely uncomfortable down here. And I did figure out that if I am going to do <clears throat> more of this stuff that needs to be explored, I'm going to have to go back to like the beginning before I get to like the cave system area where that first spot is. But... But it's fine. It's fine. I'll I'll be fine. <sighs> Let's go do this, I guess. <clears throat> I just want to make sure there's nothing else hiding over here, like behind it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like there could be. I don't like being over there. I don't want to do that again. Ever. Okay, let's let's What's happening? Repair the nail. Link to prevent astral consumption collision. This is the director's duty plot. Authorized for a single new tool upgrade. Use this to save the Foundation Us Bureau. Uh, left or right weapons. Only one is permitted. Which one... Will you choose so become? I could only choose one. I thought I was done with these tests. Okay, which one's which? Choose the astral plane challenge. What are they? What's the difference? Okay, and then what's this one? Ooh! Oh, do I want this one? No, I want the one that builds. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <coughs> That's gonna be way more helpful. We'll grant shape manipulate. Okay. We'll grant Fracture Undo. I think... I think this is the one I choose. I'd rather create. We are tweaking, cultivating the ability U. Complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Minerals, roots, barnacles grow across the foundation. Use the new upgrade to, to shape. First director to receive, earn this. You should feel honored, handled. <laughs> handled? No, that's not what I want. Okay. I don't hate this. I don't hate this at all. This is cool. Okay, so it does have a limited time. Oh my god, this is massive. Certain crystal formations crumble after being shaped. I heard a creaking. Oh, that's crazy. Whoa. This place is really cool. Like, I don't normally feel okay in the astral plane, but like, this one? Not bad. Okay. What else we got around here? Uh, I don't think there's anything on top of these giant pillars, so it should be okay. 
Dismantle, loosen the four locks, keys, MacGuffins, located in the fringe nowhere of the astral plane. Astral bleeding collision has spread, lost them. Do this and nail will be repaired, glued, crisis averted. P.S. Bonus round. Hiss are present in Foundation. Great! Trespassing snooping is forbidden. Snooping! <laughs> No, not that. Oh, shit. I didn't land fast enough to do that. I don't want that to crumble underneath me. <laughs> Some crystals can be shaped into dangerous sharp points. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That's real cool. Oh, this is fun. I like this. I like this a lot. This gonna be fun. Guys, I picked correctly. Okay. Crystals can be shaped while levitating to great platforms. Oh, they can, can they? Okay. Made it. What now? Up there. Over there, I guess. Alright. We did it! I got the thing! Whoa. So it's fixed? Okay. <gasps> this broken pillar is called the nail. It was broken by something uh -huh. and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation which will destroy the oldest house the bureau and everyone inside great i need to find four locks or keys or whatever to stop that from happening but i'm the director i've handled worse this should be simple <laughs> don't say that jesse yeah ish you with me Polaris is with us. All right, we got ability points, guys. Yay. Okay, uh, did I want to do... Uh, launch damage. Okay, there was one I wanted to do for sure. I think it was launch damage and then seize duration, maybe? I don't know. I still haven't done the ground slam. And honestly, I don't know that I want to. I think I'll do that one. Yeah. That'll do. Okay. And then Astro Constructs. There was one. Okay. I need 45,000. Okay. That was it. And then I need Corrupted Samples and Remote Thoughts. There was something I got that I... That was new, wasn't it? What was it that I got that I didn't know about? But there's a new thing. <gasps> Concussed energy recovery. Energy gain from taking melee damage. Ugh. I don't want to take melee damage. Guys, that sounds terrible. And I got a new collectible. New hotline thing. Oh, yeah, the rituals. Okay. <clears throat> Locks, keys, keep socket us here. Trapped, hooked, hidden, fed. They are old, young, extra life. With the director's help, situation and information is subject to change. Interesting. I'm not entirely sure what to make of that one in particular. A lot of the ones from the board are really confusing to me. I don't know why. 
but they just are. All right, let's, um, where are we going next? Okay, so there's a couple places I could go. Oh, okay, so there's one. I kind of want to go up and explore that room that's back at the first area. Because <coughs> there's this that I didn't go through. There's that one up there that I didn't go through. And then it looks like this one I can levitate around here to get to this because I can't break the, the thing open here. And then this one, I don't know. Maybe I have to get to that one and go all the way over to that. Because this whole area is different. And then this one is the thing up on the wall back there area. But uh, let's go here. <clears throat> I want to see if I can get up to that area. Sasha's giving herself a bath. Okay, so it's... It's got to be up there, right? Right? Yeah! <sighs> okay, we're up. Which way's the way forward, though? Excuse you. So this is just a little cave here. Is there anything in here? Doesn't really look like it. Okay, dead end. Good to know. This is something then. Chasm? I've unlocked the chasm. I don't know what that means. Okay. What is that for? Did that just open the door over there? Why is there a box? Excuse you. I'm sorry. Why is there a box? <laughs> Okay. This item's creation is the source of much research and debate. It was the product of the Bureau's first attempt to film something, Entity A11 or A001, during Operation Shallow Tide. An agent was able to conceal themselves in an area frequented by Ati, at which point they began filming. The agent reported that the video camera showed no signs of disturbance during the filming. Later, when reviewing the footage, the research staff became mesmerized by its altered effects. Measures were taken and altered evaluation began. Never before have Bureau personnel been so closely involved with the creation of an altered item. The experiment was quickly replicated, though not with the same results. The footage was simply useless in every subsequent attempt. This event spawned a great debate as to whether altered items are created by paranormal entities intentionally or otherwise. Similar experiments were prohibited soon after. See the Ash Act for details. As the creation of altered materials was deemed an action the Bureau should not engage in. I mean, probably. Just saying. <laughs> like, I mean, to get the whole curiosity of it. <clears throat> but at the same time, like, maybe we don't do that? I don't like the idea that there's this, this open box here. There's also skellies on the ground. Can we not? <clears throat> oh. Okay. So that's it then. All right then. Oh, if I could break it, I could probably do that. I wonder if I can break it with a rock. I don't know. It was worth a shot. Nope. Okay. So it does look like, though, that <clears throat> that's kind of it. Ugh. 
Because I can't get that door open, so... Unless I'm, like, missing something somewhere. Okay. Well, that's that, then. Where else did I need to go that there was one? Uh, there's the cave bleed, which I could go back from from the other area, so that's not a big deal. But I don't see any other, like, anything, so... Let's just float on down to our little spot here. Oh, this... Is that open now? There's something blinking over there. Did I know that was there? I can't get him because I got the other thing. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. All right. So that was definitely a choose your uh, adventure. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go here to crossroads. And then we're going to go back past the other area and see if we can go up in the, the floaty area. I would like to see what's back there. Do I really want to run back down here? No. Do I feel like I have a choice? Also, no. <laughs> Can we not do the banging? It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. We're out here now. Yeah. So, yeah, I gotta get up there somehow. I don't know exactly how I do that. Let's get back to that area first and see if that... Oh. Oh, that works. Oh, that works as well. Got him. Is that it? Are we good there? Or is there another somebody? I want up there. Is it an invisible one? Is that what I'm fighting? I don't see anything or anyone. And I don't see anybody moving, you know? Do you guys? It's got the, the, the hyper music. Like there's something going on, but I, I see nothing. <laughs> How do I get up there? I'm not gonna feel sad if I'm if I die from this because there's not a lot to Can I get up that high? I can't. Okay. So alright then. I don't feel so sad about that now. It's louder over here. Weird. Okay, and I still can't get up because this that's higher. Yeah. I don't see anything over there, so. Okay. Sorry, Jesse. Weird. Okay. Whatever. Okay. They can't get up there yet. I don't know if I needed something else to do that. Or if there's another way to... Jesse. 
to do that, but whatever. I would like to go here first and do one of those. Okay. So I'm going to look at this real quick. So there's something in here that I think gets us up to that. So I may have to go back to here to do that and like work my way through the, the regular area to get across this and get up there somehow. Cause I went this way when I went to the, the cave bleed area. But I want to see what this is first. Maybe? No, I really don't. No, I want to figure out the other one because it's going to bother me if I don't. I just realized I'm not wearing my watch. It's fine. Okay. Whoops. I wasn't trying to do that. I might need to for in here, though. How about we stop it? Jesus. They're so mean. Ugh. They're so mean, guys. They're so mean. Why are they like this? They're so mean. <laughs> He's rude. It's really rude. <laughs> mm. But I want to do it. I wonder if I could just like move through and not deal with that. Like if I just run. Ah. I don't know where the fuck to go with these guys. Oh my god, they're awful. They're really awful. Am I just not supposed to go there yet or something? I don't know. Yeah, levitate can leave me danger ex dangerously exposed. I figured that out by now. The heck, man. I don't get it. Those guys suck. Did I just get lucky the first time I went through there? I might have done. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if that's what we're doing, I'll go up here. Oh. I didn't see this before. Oh, that's creepy. What is that noise? No. <laughs> Just no. There's a rope. For those of you in the know, where there's rope, there's hope. Great. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so I have to get through here. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Where am I? Is there anything over here? Why would you make that noise? 
why would you make that noise? That was a terrible noise. I hated it. So much. So extremely much. Uh, what the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh yeah, I forgot. Ooh! Okay. What'd I do? What'd I do? <laughs> Okay, so is this just a big ol' empty area? Okay. So it opened a door. <sighs> Complete the ritual in the warehouse. This is a warehouse. This looks like a mine that's been abandoned. Okay. Okay, cool. Jesus. Well, I want to go in each one of these things and see if there's items in them. Yes. One of those. Anything else in here? Ooh. Goodies! Don't mind if I yes! Melee source gain. Okay. What's in this one? The heck? It doesn't work. Okay. Okay, item left on somebody's bed. <gasps> Shifting fragments. Absifik and lootly. I'll take shifting fragments. Yes, please. Is this a bureau ID badge? It looks so old. Hope will definitely want to see this. Okay. We got stuff. First of all, we got new mods. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, source gain for melee hits. I don't use melee, though. I don't. And I don't want to. I don't know why it keeps giving me that, but whatever. Okay. On the history of the oldest house... The oldest house has revealed much to me during my months in the foundation, but many questions remain. Primarily, the tree etchings bewilder me. What is their significance? If the house has changed shape over its lifetime, as I've theorized, then was a tree its first form? I sent a team to the Schwartzman building in search of pre-settlement accounts of Manhattan Island. From those, I discovered a single relevant line. And there I found a tree not known to me. The devil twisted within its bark. That line, taken with the fact that certain American cultures believe some trees would offer wisdom and guidance, is indeed interesting. However, it's hardly firm evidence. And though I am now bound to the oldest house, I remain a man of science. <laughs> of course, there are many numerous ancient beliefs regarding trees. Yggdrasil, the tree of knowledge, Yaxamixg, I think that's how you say that. Some cultures offered blood sacrifices to trees, while others claimed trees endowed chosen individuals with inhuman powers. Do New York City's many murders act as sacrifices to the oldest house? Does the house have a chosen champion? Is it me? <laughs> I don't think it's you, Theodore Ash. It might be, but I doubt it. 
I've been going through my library, researching pyramids and triangles. If that shape does relate to the board, as Northmore says, then perhaps our predecessors in the occult can offer some insight through their geometric knowledge. In esotericism, the triangle is closely associated with the Holy Trinity and other three-part concepts. Three-body problem. Sorry. <laughs> I just started listening to those since I can't really sit down and read. So I just started listening to the first of the books from the Three Body Problem series. And it's already really good. So it's in my head. Past, present, future, mind, body, spirit. Interestingly, the term board also implies multiple parts. Upright triangles in Judeo-Christian imagery indicate ascent into rational divine realm. Inverted, it's sig it signifies a descent into the corporeal human. Naturally, the ascent is masculine and the fall is feminine. Adam and Eve. That's just a bit of old world patriarchy. It's 1964 now, and we're well past that silliness. <laughs> oh, honey, I wish. <laughs> Considering the above, what does the inverted triangle tell us about the board? They're clearly not corporeal or human. Perhaps they wish to be, or they once were. The likeliest answer is simply that theological imagery cannot help us define alien, define alien entities, but still the pyramid seems significant. Shapes have power, and clearly so does the board. You know, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. So my next question. That I wait a minute. That ID badge. Is that like... Uh, I don't know if there's, um, reports, research, astral research, astral co no, I don't know. Anyway, anything else in here? Oh, I don't like what you are. Can I get into this? Not for, oh. There's something in the floor. But I can't get into it yet. It won't let me. <laughs> but I wanna. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to kill something in that, aren't we? Well, whatever it is, we're gonna do it in the next episode because we've had a lot of things happen in this episode. And quite frankly, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> we're in a whole new air Oh God. That explains it. Never mind. Okay, that's one. No, shit. Got him. Okay. Oh god. I didn't realize you were right behind me, you asshole. <laughs> no. Shit. Are there more? Okay. No, we're good. Okay. Let's just, uh... Okay, I'm glad I realized those guys were up there instead of me just trying to, like, stand around here and get to things. Would have been not great. So, anybody else? <laughs> Preferably not. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here, and in the next one, we're gonna pick up trying to do this ritual here in the warehouse. And hopefully we can try to get to the base camp in the next one. I don't know if I'm going to go back and get the area where the new guys were at yet. I still want to do that before we finish the foundation DLC. If we can't, I get it. It happens. Whatever. Um, it looks like I may have to like hop up the walls to get in there. Because it looks like there's an open area over there. And that might be a way to get in. But I don't know if I can get up. So there's also lights up there. So we're, we probably are going to have to go up top for something. But anyway... 
If you guys liked this video, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me, and click the notification bell, that way you guys know when new videos go live. Don't forget to share the videos around to anybody you think might enjoy watching me play through Control and other games that I've got going in the future. And don't forget that if you guys want to play the game for yourself, link is going to be down in the description. Get the DLCs, get the Ultimate Edition. Seriously, it's so worth it. This has been so much fun. And I understand that this playlist is getting kind of long, but I'm so much enjoying playing this that I don't even care. Like, I legitimately don't even care how long it is. We've played games for longer than I've played through Control, so we're fine. Um, I'm going to leave the full playlist below me on the screen if you guys want to get caught up on everything that's happened up to this point. If you want to see the end of the main game as well, that is in the playlist. And I will have everything going forward from the playlist if you're watching this in the future. So you can just click on that and continue from here if you want to continue seeing the Foundation DLC, the AWE DLC, and my final thoughts, big, long essay-like video at the end. I'm going to do that at the very, very end and put pieces all together from this. So it's going to be great. I haven't done a video like that before. So it's going to be a new adventure for me and it's going to take a lot of editing and I don't know how I'm going to do with that because I'm not the best editor in the world, but we're going for it. We're doing it anyway. You learn trial by fire. <laughs> so anyway, that being said, I'm Captain Tiger Lily and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.